Exactly. So um, you're an independent artist. I am. You're an independent woman artist, female artist. Right. What some advice would you give to other independent artists and mostly women who are independent artists? Um, well, just in general, I know, you know, just from my personal experience, um, things that I have gone through and I witnessed other people going through as well is just like, you don't have to accept the fact that people, because people will try to convince you, people that are higher up, the people that you, you think that you want to reach or that you need in order to reach that next pinnacle, mm-hmm. they'll make you feel like you can't, you can't make it without being authentic because people are afraid of mm-hmm. a- authenticity. You get what right. I'm saying? It's like, it's too many variables. It might not work. People might, it's too unfamiliar. You know what I'm saying? So they kind of scare you into thinking that like, you can't be great at just being you. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. to, I want people to understand that you absolutely can just stick t- true to who you are and you don't have to step out your comfort, you know, um, to appease other people. You know what I'm saying? Like if it really just makes you uncomfortable, like it's absolutely going against what you stand for, your morals, your values, then don't do it. You know what I mean? Like I love I love who I am I, and my integrity is first. You get what I'm saying? So I don't compromise any of that. Nah, I, I, I truly do not believe in compromising yourself for like illegitimate gains. Like it's nah. It's not worth it. Nah. Like because it'll Cause you gonna feel like you. trash after when it yeah. all falls apart. You can be like, I should have never ever. I knew I should have did that shit to begin with. Yeah. Now you sitting there with egg on your face, like about right. dumbing the motherfucker and feeling just as dumb. Yeah, and it, let me, you'll hear it time. I've heard it time and time and time again. Like people try to tell you other things that have like worked for other people and it may work you know people you know how people they live by the if it's don't broke if it's not oh, excuse me if it isn't broke don't, don't fix, fix it. it right but it's just like all right that might have worked for them c- for the path that they're trying to go but you're yeah. trying to give me directions to get to walmart when i'm trying to get the shop right. Mm. right right you get what i'm saying like i feel you I, you know you know what i mean so it's just like not really helping. just know just know who you are mm. and and stick to it and you know just people who are meant to be there will gravitate toward you mm-hmm, cool yeah. they when will with with the uh, music that you just released, uh, you said it was last year, right? Last summer. Well, that was my first single. That was Flatline, mm-hmm. which is available on all platforms as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but Look. my most recent um, single, Aries, I just released that in October okay. of this year. Any plans with this project in particular going forward? And while it's still, because it's still kind of hot, it's still kind of fresh. It's not kind of hot. It's very hot. No, no, I don't. <laughs> talk about no, it. I wasn't talking about the music quality. Uh, I was talking about in terms of the release date. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's still it's fresh. recent. Okay, it's still yeah. fresh. It's still hot. So yes. like, how do you plan yes, on thank you, thank you. taking the music from I that do. period and still kind of pushing it? Um, compared to when I released Flatline, like I said, I'm an in, I'm an independent completely. Like I'm self managed. So everything that people see me do, as far as my visuals and everything, like I have resources but i plug everything together by myself i don't as you see i'm here by myself so mm-hmm. i'm a one-man team and um i would like to push this one much more this this song is very special to me just because of the overall feeling you get what i'm saying i think that it's like it, it has like an underlying underlying sense of nostalgia i really love like the 90s or whatever so i really mm. i'm ready to like release like the video so i'm working on that um the actual album is going to be released later on like after the new year very shortly after the new year i'm going to drop the whole project it has seven songs 